Now, there's more to computing than just bits and bytes and data representation, of course, and what we're going to look at now is the more human side of computing. Hands up who's ever been confused on their computer? Yeah, <laughs> yeah who's been annoyed? Who's, uh, who's wanted to do something violent to their computer? <laughs> Who has yeah. done something violent to the computer? <laughs> who's been grounded as a result of doing something violent to the computer? <laughs> there are a lot of hands still up. I, I'm wondering how far we can push this. I don't know. No. Who's, uh, who's, um, no, I won't. <laughs> Great. Okay, uh, so what I've got here on these cards are some colours. You guys know your colours, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I just want you to call out the colour that's on the card. There's some writing there too, but I want you to ignore the writing. Uh, okay, just, just give me the colour of the text. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Blue. Oh, oh smart. Okay. One, two, three. Green. Green. <laughs> I said red. <laughs> Mrs. Eddington, what are you teaching these people? Yeah. She's not mine! <laughs> <laughs> that child came in off the street! <laughs> ah. <laughs> Alright, uh, next one. Yellow! Say blue! You're wearing a yellow top! You know what yellow is! This is blue! Yellow! This is yellow! <laughs> yeah, you've got me confused! <laughs> Oh, who said green? Who said green? <laughs> you just wanted to say green, didn't you? <laughs> green, 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 green. I said black. I changed it. Okay, so why is this hard? Why is this so hard? You guys are smart guys. You've figured out binary numbers, you've figured out image compression, you've figured out multiple bit per pixel encoding, and you can't figure out what colour is on this card? It's because your brain is telling you it's the word, not the colour. Yeah, yeah, your brain's getting two different sets of information, right? It's getting, it's getting the colour, but it's also getting the word, which you guys are so used to reading. How does that relate to computer science, Harvey? Does anybody here have uh, Windows at home? <laughs> the operating system. <laughs> oh. 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 Anyway. Who has, uh, who has Windows on the computer? Yeah. Good, good. Now when, you, when you're done on your computer and you go to turn it off, where do you go? The start. The start. Does anyone find that a bit weird? Yeah. To stop the computer, you go to... Start. start. Mm. <laughs> this, is, this is just another example of uh, um, computer scientists trying to give your brain two bits of information at once. <laughs> <laughs> So what, what we're really looking for in computer science and what we're really short of is people who know how other people's brains work. Um, is, there, is there a name for those sort of people? Anyone know? Smart people? Smart people. Yeah, yeah, someone's got it. Yep. Yeah. Psychic? <laughs> not, not quite. Not quite psychic, yep. Yeah. Are mind readers? Not mind readers. You don't have to be a mind reader, you just have to be... Scientist. Scientist, there's a special sort of scientist, yep. Psychologist, yeah. <laughs> So we're always, we're always looking for um, psychologists and computer science. It's really important because they understand how people behave and how they think. The frustrating challenge that the students were having a go at is called the Stroop Effect, a well-known experiment from psychology. Now, it's not hard to get students to think of difficult interfaces or even frustrating interfaces that they've used, but it might come as a bit of a surprise to them that we are interested in designing better interfaces, that we are interested in designing systems that take account of how humans really work. And in fact, sometimes it's quite good to point out that the system that we want to work efficiently is not just the computer, but the computer and the human working together. And that uh, systems that are really successful are ones that are designed by people who are interested in both parts of the system, the computer and the human.